thought I'd do a quick video on this composter that I made last year. Uh, originally, I was going to make a how-to video, but I mean, it's really so simple that uh, you don't really need a video on how to do it. But I'll, I'll just show you what I have here. Uh, I have these X's, uh, all made by 2x4s plus a base on the bottom here steel pipe and then of course I have this plastic barrel uh, I got a support here and one on the back and uh, very simple design I didn't design this myself I saw one on YouTube I mean uh, on, on the internet rather not on YouTube and then of course you got the <coughs> the hole and there's a bunch of the compost in there yep there are some bugs inside there uh, they don't bother me they stay inside now I've been using this thing for almost a year now and I have put a ton of vegetation inside there I mean it Okay, all kinds of stuff. Uh, yard trimmings, uh, vegetables, skins, banana peels, eggshells, uh, all kinds of stuff I've stuck in there. Um, and it's reduced down a very small amount. Uh, and the problem I have here, it's not exactly a problem, but I guess it kind of is is I got all this stuff in here and some of it is some of it is composted down to where I'd want to use it and some of it is still being worked on a little bit uh, I guess what I should do is just forego using it for a week or two and let all that stuff compost down inside there uh, and then take it out and then start over use what I have now uh, on the bottom here <coughs> I have a I have one of those plastic totes it's a rubber made you can see it's collected up with a lot of water in there that's all rainwater in there and filtered through and so it's like compost tea I've been using that to water my garden uh, which I have a very small garden you can see over here I got started on it <coughs> I just started on it about a week and a half ago and I'm, I'm doing a, a different kind of uh, irrigation this time it's going to be an automatic system uh, which once it's complete I'll make a video about it uh, this is really the best way to do this and my brother and my friend Grant told me last year that uh, watering from the top wasn't a smart idea because you gotta be on top of it every single day uh, and I didn't listen to them because uh, I was taking it one step at a time it's not really my fault but Anyway, I was using that water to water the, the garden. Uh, most of it's gone now. Uh, probably <coughs> wasn't really a smart idea to do this because uh, there's mosquitoes in there. So, uh, I probably should have figured something better out than what I've done. But, it is a good composter. It works well. Uh, you got to, around here in California, uh, in the in the heat, you got to wet it down uh, every couple of days or so. Make sure it's damp. In the winter you don't need to, of course, because it rains, but in the summer you do. Uh, otherwise it won't really compost down. You'll just collect a whole bunch of stuff inside there. But I'm satisfied with this. I think this is the best design I've seen. 
the easiest to make. Uh, I think I made it with four two by fours. I don't think it was three. I think I, ne I needed four. Uh, plus the screws, the pipe, and the barrel. Uh, it did work very nicely. I'm really happy I made it. And I wanted to share it with you. Uh, oh yeah, one other thing. I, I spray painted it black originally. And you can see it's scraping off. Uh, I guess I didn't use the right kind of paint. And I'm not too worried about it though. It still works well. So... If you make one, I think it'll work well, well for you too. Thanks.